Hello again and welcome back to the tutorial series on how to make an RPG from scratch. In the last tutorial we began making our transitionary tiles. I hope you can see the cursor. It came out good last video, but this video, who knows, um, I'm uploading at the same time so hopefully uh, the video won't be too choppy and all, but besides the point, um, in the last video we began making our transitionary tiles and uh, we've actually started developing a pretty decent source texture and uh, what I want to do in this video is um, begin to organize these source textures and go ahead and um, finish up uh, everything that we'll need to basically create um, these continents and that would be the basic starting point for our game and it's already starting to shape up as you can see and uh, what we'll do is we'll just uh, in this video we'll go ahead and, and expand upon that a little bit so the first thing I wanted to do is go ahead and kind of organize these just a little bit here. We're going to anchor that guy there. And we'll take this one. And I'm going to hit Control X, which cuts it out. And Control V to move him over here, because that's logical. That goes next to there. And we'll take this guy here, and we'll do the same thing. Control X and Control V, so we can move him over here. And uh, we'll do the same thing with this guy. And this will be the start for our source texture here. And these don't have to be exact. We're just uh, basically doing this for convenience so that we know what we have and kind of start to organize this in, in a logical way. And we have one more tile that we have not yet included, and that would be this guy right here. So we'll can copy this guy and paste him, and we'll bring him over here. So now we have just these four, um, well, one, two, three, four, five, five basic source tiles. And from that, um, you can see we can already create vast landforms and continents and vast seas. And it looks all pretty seamless thanks to GIMP's filters and the features therein. And uh, what we're going to do is basically we'll expand upon that and this this image right here is just for our purposes right now I'm just making sure that you guys can see kinda of where it's going um, in, in actuality when we start to, to do the programming we'll have a source texture that looks similar to this we'll fill it in with all the rest of these um, transitionary tiles and um, what the compiler will do is it'll pull um, each one of these textures and place it in the correct spot according to our memory map but uh, that's jumping ahead a little bit, so let's go ahead and, and continue working here um, like we did the last time. Um, what we'll do is uh, let's continue this, this diagonal um, transitionary tile here, which creates interesting effects on this front. And uh, we'll, we'll do that so that it goes uh, this way, this way, and this way. So we'll have an additional three tiles to create here. So we'll start by, again taking the water tile, copying it and pasting it, and let's get a new work area over here. And we'll take a grass tile and do the same thing, copy, paste, and we'll put that guy over here. And let's take the zoom tool and we'll zoom, oh, we'll zoom in not that much, we'll zoom in about there. And uh, from our source texture over here, let's zoom out a little bit, um, what we want to do is we want to grab this triangle from the green so that it will it will be, um, I'm sorry, this triangle from the green, from the grass texture so that the water will be over here. So we want this upper right hand triangle of this texture here. So we'll we'll go ahead and use this tool we'll anchor that guy there and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the free select tool again and we'll go to this point to this point to this point and then we'll just do our normal little jagged edge guy it can be natural it doesn't have to be the same as the other one and the more variation we do the better usually generally that's how it works out anyway and we'll connect it right into the corner there and we'll control copy that guy and we 
we'll use this tool because it works a little bit better. We'll paste and we'll move him just like that there. And we'll set that so that it gets nice and in, in there. And there you have it. We have that texture now. And we'll go ahead and select this whole new tile. And before I commit this to our um, source textures, our source texture, our beginning is of our source texture. Excuse me, I'm getting a cold here. Um, I wanted to make sure that it just um, matches up nice with all the different tile sets. And as you can see, that looks pretty good there. And uh, what we'll do is, is we'll, we'll make sure it lines up pretty nice there and, 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 and there with this transitionary tile so that we can see that it, it goes in fairly well. And that looks pretty good to me. So we'll take this guy and we'll commit it right here to our source texture. And uh, let's do uh, let's do this again. We'll we'll take uh, we'll take this texture here and we'll go ahead and get rid of them because we don't really need them anymore. And we'll take a brand new water texture here, copy it and paste it. And we'll bring it over here. And now we want the green on this diagonal because it's kind of the way I'm setting this up. So we'll take the green from this upper left diagonal here. And let's zoom in a little bit so we can get this uh, nice and good. We're going to anchor the water tile up there. And we'll use this free select tool once again. And we'll start from here and we'll go to this corner, to this corner. And we'll just make our nice little jagged edges make it nice and natural the random the variation there just like you'd see in a natural setting it's uh, it's very good and we'll connect that in there like that and we'll switch back to this tool we'll copy that selected image from there and we'll paste it and we'll move it up here like that and uh, there you have it and we'll take this guy here I'm actually going to do this all in one foul swoop. Control X, which cuts it. And we'll move over yonder. And let's zoom out a little bit before we do anything else. And let's make sure this uh, fits in nice with our little kind of prototype and image, I guess you could call it. Select this tool and paste right in there. And as you can see, it transitions nicely from there. And... Uh, from these tiles as well it doesn't look too too shabby and it transitions well on that front so I can go ahead and commit that to our source texture and let's go ahead and do this one more time here I'm, I think I might be running out of time let me see here um, control copy and control paste we'll go ahead and put that there and what we'll do is we'll do the same thing um, only we want the lower left hand corner to be the green um, in this case so we'll zoom into the grass texture here and we'll select the box selection tool and deselect um, anchor the water tile and we'll use the free selection tool and we want this bottom left hand corner now so what we'll do is we'll start right here and we'll go to here and over to here and then we'll do our nice little jagged edge just nice random variation makes it look natural that's what we're getting at and it selected that and what we'll do is we'll move to this tool control copy control paste and we'll take that bad boy and we'll stick it right there and from there we can anchor that and use the box selection tool again and select this entire tile and we'll cut it and we'll move this over here we'll, we'll zoom out again and let's make sure that it transitions nice to what we're trying to do and this is actually going to be the start of our our top um, over here like this and that looks pretty good to me and it transitions well with all these tiles so let's go ahead and commit that to our source texture and we'll get into some more source textures in the next video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial